recommend always using cameras in Daz Studio. Not only do cameras have a lot more features than your default perspective view, but if you ever have to quit and reopen a scene, you're going to lose your framing if you're only using perspective view because it goes back to the default position. This is especially important if you're doing animations. If you've rendered out half of your frames and you've closed your program, open it back up later, load your scene, it's almost impossible to get back your framing that you had before. So in my scene, I've got my character, I've got this little butterfly, I have a three-point lighting system, and I've added a forest image to the dome here, and I have draw dome on. You can see this image in the background really doesn't look good, but once we have our camera in our scene, it's gonna look a lot better. So let's go ahead and create a camera, either by going to create new camera, or just by clicking here. And I'm going to copy active view. That's going to keep the framing that I have right here. Let's accept, and then let's make sure that we are in our camera view. So with our camera selected, let's go into our camera pane and first of all, I always like to turn the headlamp off. Then let's go into our camera settings. If you turn off perspective, it's going to create a very flat image like this. So let's just keep it on. You can mess with the frame width and length. I'm just going to leave it how it is here. And I'm going to turn on depth of field. Depth of field tells you what is in focus and what is out of focus. This emulates the lens of a real camera. So I'm going to turn off my eye ray and then come into perspective view. And then I'm going to rotate around and you're going to see what this focal distance is. This is going to show you how far away from the camera the distance of your focus is. And in real life and in renders, you always want the eyes of your character to be in focus. So you can choose either eye, but I always choose the one that's closest to the camera. Your f-stop is going to tell you how much is in focus. So the higher the f-stop, the deeper the range of focus is. So let's go back to camera one, turn our eye ray back on. So you can see that that keeps a lot in focus. So let's bring this back down to Let's say something really low, like five. And you're gonna see that that can be a cool effect, but this isn't the kind of render that I want. So let's pull it back up to about 20. And that is a great looking render right there.